батареи. Залпо. 333. The war in Ukraine has definitely turned into an artillery war in which both sides are trying to destroy as much of the enemy's firepower as possible. It is clear that the Russians have superiority in artillery over the Ukrainians, but Ukraine is trying to compensate for that by using precisely guided ammunition. If in the first phase of the war we most often saw anti-tank missile attacks on Russian tanks, now we most often see artillery attacks on Russian positions. American M777 howitzers are providing enormous assistance to the Ukrainian army, and this video from Ukraine's 81st Airmobile Brigade showing M777 howitzer strikes that destroyed a Russian tank and two BMPs. This footage is from Ukraine's 40th Artillery Brigade showing artillery strikes on a concealed Russian tank. This are D-30 artillery strikes from Ukraine's Kraken unit on Russian forces in Kharkov Oblast. Now artillery strikes by Ukraine's 40th Artillery Brigade on four Russian BM-21 Grad MLRS launchers. Video of Ukrainian National Guard mortar and 2S1 Gvozdika artillery strikes on Russian positions and armor in the south. This is mortar, or artillery strikes on Russian troops in a house by Ukrainian special operation units. Footage from Ukraine's National Guard showing the aftermath of artillery strikes on Russian Montana LB. And the list of equipment provided by the US to Ukraine includes 1,400 Stinger Mantas, 6,500 Javelin ATGM, 126 155 mm howitzers, and 260,000 rounds, 20 Mi-17 helicopters, 121 Phoenix Ghost Tactical Unmanned Aerial Systems, 2 Harpoon Coastal Defense Systems. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.